smell sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our hungry, rainy adventures in southern Thailand. And welcome to Hat Yai, guys, to Songkla province, which is so far away from Bangkok city. So far away! I can't even imagine how I'll be riding back to Bangkok on my motorbike. It already hurts. <laughs> Anyway, this is the last episode of this Southern Thai tour. A little bit later, I will tell you why. Yeah. Probably you already know the reason. But anyway, Hat Yai is an amazing place. It is the largest town in Southern Thailand. It is another food capital in Southern Thailand. It is very popular with international travelers, but not with Western tourists, not with American, not with European. Mostly with Malaysian, with Singaporean and with Chinese tourists, because there is an international airport, so it's easy for them to come back and in, in and back, yeah. But why? Why Thai people, why these international travelers love Hat Yai so much? In today's video we will try to find out the reasons, the answer. Because of course there is a beach, there are mountains, there is fantastic food, because Hat Yai has a very mixed culture. It is a mix of Thai, Chinese and Malaysian cultures, cultures and cuisines, which is why food here is just brilliant. I spent here seven or eight days and food here is really amazing, but I don't want to make another food tour video. Yeah, some love Thai food tour, blah, 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 blah. I may be bored of, of food videos. I want to have some kind of adventure. I want to see the nature. Yeah. Of course, there will be food part two, otherwise you will never forgive me because we are in Hat Yai and food here is really amazing. We got to try something. But of course, we will be visiting uh, local landmarks, places that everybody knows, places that you recommended me and some other place that I personally find worth visiting. Yeah. So hopefully it will be an interesting adventure, but you'll have to watch it till the end to find out is it true or not. So if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you are ready, to waste this precious time together with me while I'm running away from the rain, as always. Then join me in this hungry adventure with this hungry eating machine that never breaks. Let's go. Wait, let's go. <laughs> and let's begin this tour with the hotel while it's not dark yet. Five hundred fifty baht. Yeah, for real. Five hundred fifty baht for this room. Uh huh. For five hundred fifty baht, this kind of mattress. This is so amazing, guys. It's so comfortable. It's amazing, for real. And check out these pillows. They, I don't know how to show you how good pillows are. They are so amazing. And here is the charging port for your devices. Check it out. Previously, I stayed in another hotel for seven days, for seven nights and people were allowed to smoke on balcony, which is why uh, smoke all this... I have nothing against, against smokers unless they bother me because people were smoking in the next room on the balcony and all this smell was entering my room through the, through the windows, through the uh, balcony door Yeah, and they were very noisy, which is why I decided to leave and found this place and I'm very happy with it. Here is the balcony and a view. There is a smart TV with Netflix, with YouTube and they even have got international channels. Can you believe that? MTV Live, Fashion TV, very important. France 24, Al Jazeera, no Fox News. <laughs> there is no kettle though in the room, no kettle and no teacups. However, in the lobby there is a microwave, there is a water boiling machine and there is a coffee machine, Nescafe, which you can use for free as many times as possible 
as many times as you want to until 3 p.m. You can order cappuccino, americano, latte, uh, mocha, hot chocolate, which is quite amazing. I can drink 400 baht easily. <laughs> uh, the hotel is located close to the main road. However, you don't hear this traffic noise. There is a large parking area. I should have stayed here from the beginning, yeah, because earlier I stayed in another hotel. Uh, and it wasn't that pleasant. It was cool for the first two days because the hotel was located, is located close to the railway tracks. So I was looking at the train passing by, enjoying the mountain view. However, every morning it was like, yeah. So after two days, I lost this romantic feeling. Plus I've got new neighbors who were smoking, drinking, giggling, screaming. And if you got bad neighbors, which bother you a lot it doesn't really matter where you're staying at it's not gonna be enjoyable anyway guys it's already evening you see it's dark let's go outside maybe find some food maybe cut my hair because uh, it's time to cut them It's still raining. It's still raining, which means it's a delivery time. Guys, I'll see you in the morning. Keep watching. Two days ago I made an appointment in Hatia GPX shop to change the oil and check if all systems are working properly. Uh, because this is the first long tour of this motorbike, we've made almost 2000 kilometers. 1950, something about that. Yeah. And I should have changed oil earlier, but I haven't seen GPX shop in Trang and Patalong, yeah, but there is a shop here in, uh, in Songkla, in Hatyai. And this is the combined shop. Here is the Ducati service, here is GPX service, here is a large shop of Royal Enfield. Uh, of Royal, Royal Enfield. Ah. Anyway, guys, we've got one hour which we can use uh, to fill this stomach with delicious food. <laughs> I know there is a nice dim sum shop nearby, one of the top dim sum shops in Hatyai City. So it's got to be really promising. Let's hope there will be not that many people because it's Monday today. Let's take a walk. It's 10.45. Wow, a real breakfast. What do you have? What do you have? ใส่ uh -huh. uh -huh. All right, all right, all right. Big hand. Intestines. This looks very interesting. Joy <laughs> doy. Okay, 
Tschüss, hat für die Brau. Okay, now we need to wait for a few minutes. They will steam all these dim sums and probably my salmon too. But looks, this shop looks really amazing. Like I told you, Hatia is a, has a mixed culture, so here we see a lot of Chinese influence. I won't be surprised if uh, grandparents of the owner of this restaurant are from China. No smoking, same as written in Chinese, same as written in Malaysian, at least I believe this is Malaysian. Ani tam cafe, mi cafe boran lor. Au cafe boran due, pe wa pom mai lu. Ha? yen. te mai wan, mai wan dei mai khat. Au cafe boran wan noi de na yen. Wow, amazing. They got my favorite ancient coffee. อ่าเพราะเพราะว่ามีลูกแต่วันธรรมดาเนี่ยด้านหน้าก็เพียงพอที่จะรับลูกค้าแล้วเราก็จะเปิดเฉพาะด้านหน้าแต่ถ้าเ
I wanted to show you a waterfall. Here is another kind of waterfall for you. <laughs> this is the water and it's falling. Ah, first time in Tatyai, first time in San Salvatore. I will never forget this trip. <laughs> ah. ไม่ได้เหรออ่าลมพัดพายุเหรออ่าพายุเดี๋ยวกินม้าเพราะว่าลมเร่งลมเร่งอ่าลมเร่งอย่างนั้นอ่าก็ไม่มาวันหลังน
<laughs> but honestly, I'm just melting down because of... I know, don't expect anything and you won't, never will be disappointed, but I expected things here yeah, and I don't want to make just crappy videos, just walk around or talking about some bullshit. We, this channel has reached almost 200,000 subscribers. I simply cannot make such videos anymore. I already have, have developed the style. So I want to continue creating the same style of videos and better. I understand every time I'm saying, are you ready to waste your time or not? But every time I'm trying to provide really high quality content, at least in my systems, or in my system of goals and values. Yeah. Every time I'm trying to surprise you, to, to show that I can do better and better, but not with these weather conditions. Feel tired. And also another thing, you, <laughs> sorry, my confession, and again, again, I'm talking too much. You gotta walk mask all the time, and with this humidity, with lots of water in the air, yeah, with this moisture, you're simply suffocating, and it's killing me. I just can't wait for the moment when this safety measure will be cancelled, finally, because almost everybody in the world has realized that all of this was bullshit, that lockdown, all of these restrictions has killed the economy, has destroyed so many businesses, has destroyed so many lives, and... Uh, and mental health too. Hello, hello. So I just hope that there, there is a hope that in the middle of June we won't be we won't it won't be necessary to wear a mask outdoors only when we enter in some shopping malls or you know, places with crowds, places with many people. Maybe we won't need to wear them on the streets so that we can smile again to each other. How to smile? So what do you have? Okay, let's go. Let's go trim some hair. Very lucky. Very lucky that I'm back to the city and it's just four minutes drive from the hotel. Thunderstorm. Oh. Let's see. Humidity, you are sweating. Oma had yet to clip yoga by Tio, the Tukti Pia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sungwa Kodai. Razor, razor part. One hundred baht and a massive pimple on my head. <laughs> yeah, not everything must be perfect. Even Mona Lisa got cracks, at least one crack. <laughs> but this is a golden rule of, in my life. You can enter any barber shop where the boss is a guy and you can get amazing haircut for just $3. And this one costs only 100 baht. Pretty decent. Of course, in Thailand and other places, you can get a haircut for 200 baht, for 500 baht, even for 1000 baht, especially in Bangkok, in shopping malls. However, why do you need to pay more if you, if you can get the same thing for a bit cheaper price, for much cheaper price, for much lower price? Yeah. And no food around. Let me check, let me check. <laughs> no, no food around. Ah, guys. So, perhaps I'll see you in the morning again because I cannot control the weather. What can I do? <laughs> it's 
spend two nights in a hotel waiting for the weather to get better. And it's not raining now, so we are back to the same national park and I'm ready to go into the jungles to feed mosquitoes and explore this massive seven levels waterfall. And indeed, there is a seven levels waterfall in the national park, which looks quite stunning from the pictures. Locals love coming here during the day to chill in the cold water of its first level. But what I did know is that ascending the top of the waterfall, its seven level, would take at least four hours. But unfortunately, I've come too late this day. And at first, I really thought to come back in the morning, the next day, but after I left the park, I realized I just don't want to ride another 70 kilometers for the third time just to see summer water. Maybe the universe was giving me a sign. Well, we will never know. Welcome to Samila Beach, probably the major landmark of the, of the entire province, province of Songkla. It is located in about 30 minutes drive from Khatiai city. Actually, this is Songkla city, a bit different place. Even though it is the same province, the vibe here is absolutely different. The sky is blue, you feel yourself more chill, it's more green, there are so many, so many trees, so much greenery here. Wow, maybe I should have come to Songkla town from the beginning. And there is a huge beach with many statues on it. For example, this one, a statue of a cat and a rat. And I've heard the story, a legend. Let me know, is it true or not? Accordingly to this story, a cat, a rat and a dog tried to escape Songkla. Cat and rat have drowned in the water and have become two islands which has a name uh, Kong Miao, Cat Island, and Kong Nu, Nu, Red Island, while a dog has survived, but somehow it transformed into a hill, which is also like it here in Songkla province. Let me know if you heard this story or if you heard other stories. Also, there is a statue of a man reading a book. There is a statue of mermaid, which is also has its own legend. Let's take a walk and find this statue and I will tell you the legend. And this is the mermaid statue, probably the major and the most popular statue here. I saw people touching all parts of her body, but I'm not gonna do it at this time. <laughs> And what's the legend behind this statue? Well, in Thai folklore, a long time ago, there was a mermaid sitting here on the beach, brushing her hair, and then there was a fisherman approaching this place. She was frightened, so she jumped back in the water but forgot her golden comb. However, the fisherman fell in love with her. He found this comb and then every day he was coming to this place and waiting for her to come back. But she never made it. Ah, cruel love. <laughs> oh, this beach is really fantastic. I've noticed there are so many cowboys, so many horses. And just look at the size of this beach. Such a massive stripe of sand. Here is the water and this is the length of this, of this beach. Really fantastic. Wow, Songkla. Completely different vibe. Really, I've got some kind of holiday mood here. Amazing. The sun is going down. I think we got to find a peanut butter, or oh, peanut butter, ice cream with peanuts. Also very recommended menu on this beach. And then we got to try to find a place where we can enjoy sunset or at least fantastic views. Here 
here is the airplane saying that this is a no-flight no zone for me. Say to Kyang Padai. Take Kanom Kanom Pan Mayao Cup. Diet. <laughs> Ice cream diet. Ani kalai kap. Look cheap. Malujak. Ani kalai kap. Manchiam. Malujak. How much? 50 baht. Thank you. Coconut ice cream in a coconut shell with peanuts and some extra toppings. It's always amazing. What I love about this beach, half of it is just sand, beautiful sand. There is no trash, no garbage at all. Yeah, but nobody is getting tan, obviously. <laughs> so another half of the beach is covered with these massive trees, which give so much shadow. So even when the sunlight is so harsh in the daytime, you can come here and enjoy. And there are really many, many different uh, sitting areas benches and etc no tables though but it's not an issue Hey cowboy, are you ready for another hike? Are you ready for another climb? Huh? The last place of interest in our today's tour. Probably not a must visit place, but the views from the top are really spectacular. It's probably 40, 50 minutes drive from Hatyai city. Let's go.
right, guys, this is the end of the episode. It's probably going to be the longest episode ever. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So there is no reason to hit the like button. Anyway, you, most of you never hit the like button. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> even though I'm asking you, even though it worth nothing to hit the like button, 95% don't do it. So I'm not going to ask you to hit the like button or subscribe to this channel or turn notifications on. Ah, especially after so many of you have missed the Potalung video. Yeah, video that's probably one of the best videos I've ever done. One of the best videos on this channel, which took two days to film and about five days to edit. To edit as subtitles, to, to do rendering, to change some things. So it was a week of my life in 30 minutes uh, episode, the previous one from Potalung. <laughs> but... I've noticed that the more effort, the more energy, the more myself I put in the videos, the less engagement, the less uh, views, views it gets. Yeah. Sometimes I might edit a video or film a video in half of a day, edit it the next day, upload, and poof, this video reach 100,000 subscribers easily, or subscribers' views easily. But a video I've worked on seven days, stayed in a hotel just from morning till till uh, late night till midnight but <sighs> so i will be changing the content i will be changing the style because i've noticed that uh, such complicated videos don't fit everyone you guys want just some fun some entertainment just to take my your minds off from your busy days so i will be switching the style yeah and uh, there is Another, in, there are another news uh, in Thailand because starting from June there is a new law. So according to this law, uh, you need to ask permission of any person you are filming. And even though all any time I'm asking, uh, is it okay if I make video or not? It's simply impossible to ask consent of every person that enter your frame. Which is why I simply believe uh, it is the end of era of YouTube in Thailand, of YouTubers, of vloggers in Thailand with these restrictions. And even though uh, the description, the definition of this new law is very vague, yeah, you can't really uh, understand what you can do, what you cannot do. There, surely there will be fines, but I don't want to be <laughs> sent in jails for promoting Thailand, for filming entertaining positive videos about Thailand. No. So yeah, there will be something different. Probably there will be no more markets there will be less food videos, there will be more nature, probably more hikes, more climbings, more national parks, parks, yeah. But more videos with sound, more videos with music, more videos with atmosphere for those who, who is enjoying these uh, episodes on TV. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is it. I, I promise you to tell you the reasons why this is the last episode. Well, the weather is one thing. I'm spending days in hotels waiting for the weather to get better. And I understand if I'd have friends here, if I could hang out with people I know, but no, you're far away from everything you know, and uh, no friends, no women, no places you know. And if you are not enjoying what you're doing, then probably you, you are not enjoying it too. Ah, so okay, I'll see you somewhere else, somewhere, bye-bye.